Hello friends, this tutorial was requested by Gustavo. He asked how to mix Mixamo animations in 3D Studio Max. Specifically, how to mix a walk cycle, a jump cycle, and a stop and sit cycle at specific keyframes. So let's get started. First, go to Mixamo. Select the character, then select T-Pose first and download. The T-Pose will be used later. Now select the animations. Make sure the character is the same character so the bone ringing matches across the character. For walking, make sure walk in place is selected. Once all that is done, open the first character with animation in 3D Studio Max. It does not matter the order you open them, I just use the order they were downloaded in. The T-Pose character will open last. Once the character with the animation is open, select all. Go to animation on top, then select save animation. A new screen will pop up. Give the animation a name, then select save motion. Once that is done, you can delete the character and upload another character with animation. When you upload, make sure the character is facing the same direction and at the same spot of origin. Once all the animations have been saved, open the T-Pose character and select all. Now go to Graph Editors and open Motion Mixer. Select Add Max Objects on the far left. While holding the Control key, Deselect alpha joints and alpha surface as they are not necessary. Click add. You can see a timeline was added. Right click on the timeline and select new clips from files. Select walking clip. You can see the walking track was added. You can change where it is on the timeline and expand the reduce its length. The original request was for the character to walk for 100 frames, so let's expand that to 100. Keep in mind it really slows down the animation to fit the time. Using your mouse scroll wheel, you can zoom out to show more of the timeline. If you need more frames, just add them to the main timeline, clicking the time configuration button and increasing the end time. Now right click and select add layer track below. Right click again on the layer and select new clips from files. Select jump. You can see the jump clip was added. If you press play, you can see that the transition between animation clips is harsh. To smooth the transition, select the edit weight curve on the far right. If you place your cursor on the red line, you will see it change to a star. Add a point and add a curve to the beginning of the clip. Then turn off Edit Weight Curve to move the timeline. Do the same to the top clip. Select Edit Weight Curve and add a curve to the end of the clip. As you can see, when you press play, the transition is smoother. Keep refining until you're satisfied with the results. Now add the sitting clip. Right click to add a layer track below. 
Right click again to add new clip from files. Select sitting. But as you can see, a few of the clips have truncated or bad animation. We can trim those parts by hitting trim clips at the top, then trim to remove the bad animation. Once you are done trimming, unclick trim animation at the top. Once all the trimming and weight curves are done, you can close the motion mixer panel. Now for the walk cycle. The character is walking in place. To fix it, you can group the character by going to group and group. It sometimes jumps up, so bring it down and add keyframes to the group to add the forward motion and to fix any other motion needed. For an added step, if you need keyframes to make additions to the animation, you can export the character as an FBX file. Making sure bake animation is on. Then you can re-import the character and all the changes you made in the motion mixer have been baked in. And every bone now has a keyframe. Now you can change the speed of the whole animation or animate individual body parts. And that's it. It's not the most intuitive process, but with careful work, you can get excellent results. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.